What's good, you guys? Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to Matt Media TV. It's been a minute, y'all. Here's what's going on. I've been on my break, man. I've been on my break again. Not just to be on break, man. We've been busy. We just had that securement class go down on the 29th of April. Anyhow, this video is going to be completely different, y'all. We are pulling out the RV. We're going to take a trip, man. We're taking a trip, taking a little vacation, taking a little bit of time away from work. About a week, five days. We're going to head to the RV park with some family. I'm just show y'all the process man because this is what we did before hot shot trucking and we're actually gonna also be putting this trailer to use to make us some money man down the road so we're gonna be fixing it up and renting it out and that was the initial business i was gonna get into before getting into hot shot and got into hot shot got so busy and just left her alone man so now we are of course get other streams of revenue i think i've mentioned this to you guys before so that's gonna be a business model that we're gonna be doing where we're gonna rent this out kind of like an airbnb right now i'm taking her to get cleaned up washed up checking all my tires axles leaf springs just everything man because it's been sitting out for a couple years that's what we're doing man i'm gonna take you guys on a trip we'll just show you that experience and show y'all what it's like man to keep y'all updated so stay tuned and welcome back to the channel hope y'all like the video man like i said it's completely different but i told you this was coming on the channel where you're not just gonna see high shot trucking we still doing high shot trucking of course but I want to show you guys other things that is possible out here to make some money as an entrepreneur. Stay tuned. I'm going to see y'all in a few. Yo, what is good, man? Yo, another day out here with this thing, bro. Forgot how much it takes to get this thing on the road. Today, we had to come out, come back out, get an inspection because I forgot. We needed an inspection to get it registered out here. Yo, Texas is different, bro. I'm used to doing stuff in Florida, man. We don't need no yearly inspection and for the truck and... Anyways, that's what we're doing, man. We're getting inspected real quick, the kind of setup we have. And I got a easy lift hitch system. These are weight distribution bars to keep the weight off of the tongue. And we got our sway system right here. Sway control, it's an added device. They make some of them though, where the sway control and the distribution is kind of built in one. So you don't need all these extra devices. But in this case, you can go stronger on your sway control. If you need more tighten, if it's, you know, you feel it swaying a little too much, get out and just tighten it up. Don't do it too much, man. Over tightening this thing will snap. I've done it before and it locks it in so much, you're making a turn, it just snaps. You live and you learn. Still gotta do your pre-trips on these things, man. Go around, check your tire pressures. It's, it's, a, free, it's a trailer. Yeah, this, you know, for y'all that don't know, these are some of the places that we've been with the RV. The map's gonna show where we stayed and spent a night. If there's not a sticker there, that means we may have passed through it, but we actually haven't right had a night in that state. So, of course, this is Hawaii. We did not take the RV there. Okay. All right, they ready for me. We uh, put the RV away for like a month or two in storage and then, you know, went to Jamaica for a month, Hawaii for a month. That's the life I'm trying to get back to, bro. But all right, y'all, I got to go sign paperwork and shit. Oh, yeah. What's happening? You ready to go camping? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. You excited? Yes, it's been a minute. So it's been a while, man. Yeah, she, she didn't wake up yet. Yeah, I'm still in the process. A toxic guy. New. Bro, this is what it looked like because there ain't nothing in that RV. All right, y'all, we are back here. Today is Wednesday. We're taking the RV out finally, man. Oh, get off of the dirt, bro. We're taking the RV out, man. We'll do a little tour for you guys when we reach the park. But for right now, we're getting hooked up, transferring some stuff from the truck to the RV. About to get hooked up, trying to remember everything. It's been about three years since we pulled this sucker out. So like I said, man, taking y'all with us on this trip. We'll be going from Wednesday to Sunday. All right, man, I'm ready. Let's get it.
All right. It's time to touch this mop and roll, bro. Why you dispatching? Hey, let's go, man. We going camping. <laughs> I meant to say you're pulling the RV instead of the gooseneck. Definitely feels different. Better or worse? Uh, worse. I like the goose neck versus the buffer pit. Really? We're going in the truck or we're going to walk over there? I think we can walk. All right, y'all, we are here. Got it here later than expected last night. But we're here and we set up, man. We're about to go have some breakfast and show y'all who we out here with and what we doing. Y'all want a tour? Let me know if y'all want a tour the inside. We're going to be doing a tour. I'm going to go over what, you know, everything is and give y'all a brief. A little tour of how we do things. This is a kitchen right here. Very empty here today, but about a week and it should be popping. I don't think I need to even lock anything. This is what I love right here, though. Be in the midst of all these trees. Yeah, we're actually not that far. They're just right over there. He's waking up. Ah, uh, I've been yearning for this for so long, bro. It's been a minute. A little sports chassis over there. Post it up. All right, we're heading over here. Yeah, they got a better view of that sports chassis right there. We out ya. Talking about how much these dead little dogs just be making no sense. Maybe you just, I oh, already know, bro. Shut y'all ass up, man. Sports chassis right there. That's a whole setup. Yeah. See, when we get a truck like that, that's what it's gonna do, man. It's gonna pull the fifth wheel. It's gonna pull, I don't know about horses. I don't know if I wanna deal with horses, but. You gonna clean up and do all that? Yep. Uh -huh. Look at that thing go right there. Ooh -wee. Y'all know Adventures in Trucking, man. They got one of these they do hot shot with. Top of the morning, man. We made it out here to the campground last oh, night, a little later, later than planned. And man, getting set up in the dark with, uh, you know, it's RV life, it ain't it. But we out here, man, it's a beautiful day. We're out here for a couple of days. This is what we used to do, man. We used to live in an RV. We did it for about three and a half years and we traveled the country. Wifey would get uh, contracts as an occupational therapist while I worked online. I'm very high right now. I'm high off of this life because I just love adventure. I love outdoors. I love I love nature, man. Been in this trucking for the past two and a half years has consumed us. We like diamonds. We like adventures. Yeah, there you go. But yeah, like I was saying, trucking has consumed us. So That's about to change, we are definitely making changes to not let that happen. And like I told you all, the RV... We're actually forcing ourselves to get the RV ready so we can start renting it out, put it to use, man, make some money with it. And then maybe later on down the line, get another one. Flip it, flip it. And we'll show you guys, you know, that process too. Like I said, I told y'all on this channel, I wanna show you guys there's other ways to make money, man. And you should be trying to make money in other ways. 
instead of depending on just a truck or just trucking period initially why i got that truck before doing hot shop man was to i had a 1500 and i traded in and got this truck to move this around more often and then hot shot came and then did this did what we did for the for hot shot and brought us to where we're at right now bothering nobody they're just chilling All right, y'all, so one of the things that we did with this trailer was we took out the original seats that were here, recliners, and we had like a dinette over there. We had a leak back in the day over there, so it kind of did some damage to it. Also, why we pulled it out, but we also wanted to do a little bit of minimal renovations, so we were saying that was going to be the start of it. So we got this futon here, and I'm actually in the midst of building this table. We're doing a little bit of upgrades so that when we rent it out, you know, it'll be a little bit more pleasing more, more, more good looking the entire rv already has a nice layout a lay a nice uh color scheme and one thing we didn't want something that was too dark so we won't have to do anything to these countertops we might put a backsplash we're thinking about painting everything white as far as all the trim everything you see brown but right now right here's the bunk room it's a little mess but yeah right now we're building this table to go right here sorry about my feet Look at this, everybody came here to sleep. Millionaire sleeping. All right, y'all, let's get back to it. We got a problem. Problem is we're in Walmart trying to decorate the RV. We were supposed to be at the campground chilling. Well, let's hurry up. And we shopping. We drove 30 minutes. <laughs> well, now we need some toilet paper. Oh, shit, you know that? Right, I, for I forgot you don't be doing the RV toilet paper, yo. Yeah. My brother done pulled up. Yeah, you go right over there. We out here, dog. Oh shit, man! Everyone got bikes on. Right, man. Yeah, we ain't got what? Oh shit! Hey, right, man. What's, what's up, man? What's happening? What's happening? What's good, Hope? On site, they got these glamping tents. She's going to get in the way. Okay. Use the case,
good job day three out here at the park still a lot empty out here my brother came through tyrone triple t trucking wifey over here we've been playing some volleyball on the other side with the family eating food yesterday we ate some uh some barbecue brisket ribs sausage man everything man i'm just i'm pacing it out here man i'm not i'm not no plans no nothing but yeah y'all we're just having a good time unplugging man and there's no there's barely any signal out here too so i really can't do much on the phone camping Hey, my dog, you're a little too close. You Look bet. at Hope. Get him, Hope. Time to get from around here. They like this. I don't want Hope to go over there and she get kicked. Hey, bro. No, no. What I mean is you're getting real hey, close. Me up, me up. Hope. Hope. <laughs> Yo, Hope went after her. She You like it? You, I don't know what I know what's up with your fans, but they they on some next shit, bro. Yeah, they on some next shit. That bread's sweet, huh? Okay. Bro, I right, look, man. Everything that happened prior to this game, bro, don't matter, bro. Your mom took you off, bro. Your mama spanked you for the last time in 26. <laughs> I whooped these man six, seven games, man. He still ain't got me yet, man. Can't touch me. So, so what that mean, bro? Big time, you want Good morning. Your husband is annoying as shit. You zoom in the camera and count all his white hairs. Check out the music. What you waiting on? I'm waiting on some fried. I can't even talk on that. some fried fish. But where we at? At this point, I don't know where I'm at. I'm somewhere in Missouri. Wait, Mississippi. Do I think I can make it over the bridge? We're gonna find out today. We're gonna find out today. Whoa, bro, we finding out right now, bro. Oh shit, 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 oh shit. I should not have done this. Hey man, I'm just messing with y'all, bro. I've been doing this. Been doing this, bro. What up, y'all? Today is Friday. We out here in this yurt, visiting the fam. Let me show y'all what it's like real quick. This campground, they got a few yurts. T3, say what up. He said, what's up? Let me just take y'all on a little tour real quick. You got about 40 seconds. 
We in here with the Triple T family. You. Say what's up, everybody. What's up? What's up? Okay. This one is looking like in here. Y'all just might have. Y'all just might end up on the gram. Yeah. It's pretty dope. Um, little vibe. Two bowls. We got two bowls of crawfish, bro. How? Talking about, talking about she about to eat them all. Like, Oh, let's get a quick tour in here, man. I told y'all I was going to show you guys what it's like inside the RV. So real quick, I'm going to run through this real quick. This is our bedroom. This is the main bedroom uh, where we sleep. It's a queen size bed. Under it is where we would keep our shoes. TV goes right there. This is on both sides. That's where we'll keep our clothes. More storage. Oh, my bad. I'm doing y'all without light. There we go. A little better. All right. Kitchen area right here. Living area right here. Dining area right there. Like I showed y'all, we replaced this here. Microwave, oven, fridge, freezer. Oh, shit. I got some ice cream in that bed. Real quick tour, y'all. We do have a full bathroom here. Well, yeah, it is a full bathroom because we got toilet, we got sink, and we got a shower with a tub. We used to get questions, man. How y'all use the bathroom? Do y'all take showers? This is it, y'all. And then we got a full bunk room back here. So we got a bunk house which has uh, sleeps one, two, three, and four. And then, of course, you know, you got your storage and things like that. Yep. This is the inside, man. That's what we actually used to live in. I mean, you got your pantry, closet, you know, more space for stuff. But, yeah, that's it, man. This slide comes in, and this is a slide that comes in as well more storage everything that you see that has handles man it's got storage storage down here we keep our pots down here forks and stuff and a lot of storage space we lost storage over here with the dinette the dinette that we had here looked just like this set up here beside but it had a couch in the back where it connected we took that out this has storage under it too some of y'all that been, um, you know, messaging and saying that y'all got RVs, y'all know, man. They got a little hidden storages everywhere. This is usually where I kept my clothes. That's it, man. 35-foot travel trailer, you guys. We lived in this thing full-time for three and a half years. All right, we packing up, getting ready to go. What's up, man? What is y'all doing? <laughs> All right, outside we do have a outdoor kitchen, fridge, cabinet. We got a a burner right here to cook. Wife, we would always want to cook up fish and stuff outside because that smell inside is so strong. That box here. I don't know why she got her workout ball here, but 
Okay. We've been through our share of issues with this trailer though, man. Busted pipes. Those those have been the main issues. But yeah, real quick. Wheel chocks to help with stabilization so that it doesn't move back and forth. We have four jacks around all corners of the trailer. More for stabilization. And you see everything we put on pads. Just got the bikes up. More stabilization jacks for the for the slide out for the main slide. And then we got our sewer line, our 50 amp power cord that connects. That's where we get all our power from. Another X shock is what they're called stabilizer. Right here we got a gray tank, black tank that's pretty much sewer and fresh water. This is where we get our water from. This is for the cleaning out the black tank and this is the fresh water. This is a pressure regulator, man, to regulate the, the amount of pressure that goes into the RV. This man over here making a whole bunch of noise. And last is where we connect our water, man. Filter, gray tank, black tank. And that's it, y'all. Until next time. We out of here. Hey y'all, Sunday. We're back here, man. Trailer parked up, truck is packed up, and we heading back to the crib, man. It's been a great weekend. Good time with some good people. And that's gonna be a wrap, man. Successful trip. It was a successful trip. And we will be back for this guy here, the flatbed, a couple days. Peace.